Today, I'm going to show you how to create Fred and George Weasley's Aging Potion. Okay, so to make our Aging Potion, we will need some rubbing alcohol. It doesn't matter what type or brand. We will need some green acrylic metallic paint, and I'm using the color shift kind. It's got a little bit more of an opalescent um, shift to it. I really like the uh, mica they use in those. We will need two test tubes, glass, and I am using a rubber stopper versus a cork, and that's because um, anytime you're using alcohol, it's better to use either a stopper or rubber versus the cork because cork and alcohol can actually make a fire starter, unless you encapsulate the cork altogether so it's not exposed, and then it doesn't really matter, but the rubber will just make it a little easier for this one. And finally, we will need our labels printed on sticker paper, and the link for these is in the description down below. Let's get started. Okay, so this potion is pretty easy to make, so um, all we're going to do is take our glass test tubes and take the stopper off. And I'm actually going to use a funnel just because of how small these are, and we are going to fill these with the rubbing alcohol. So once we get our rubbing alcohol in there, all we're going to do is take a little bit of our paint and squirt it into each of the tubes. And then we're just going to cork it up. And shake it up. And as you can see, we get a really great swirling effect with the mica that is in this paint. So it gives that great um, quality of getting shaken up, which is what um, both Fred and George do before they take the aging potion to try to trick the Goblet of Fire. So um, yeah, so this way you get a little bit of a satisfaction when you shake the actual test tube. And again, we get that really great swirling quality. Okay, and lastly, to finish these up, all we need to do is add our label to our test tube. And again, I like printing these labels on sticker paper. It just makes life so much easier when we are trying to stick these on instead of having to deal with glue and waiting for it to dry and all that. So all we're going to do is line it up. and stick it on. And when anytime you put a label on a rounded container like this, it helps if you kind of hold it in your hand so that the heat can kind of help adhere it to the curve as well. But once you get it stuck down, um, it's, it's pretty good to go. Okay, and once we get our label on our test tube, um, it is just about done. I just want to make a note that if this is going to be around kids, make sure that you um, either glue this cork on or maybe you make this out of something that's edible just in case they decide to drink it for some reason. Um, this is a prop. It is rubbing alcohol, and it's not going to kill you if you drink it. However, it's not good for you. So just wanted to give that little sidebar there. Okay, so I have let this sit for about an hour or so and let the mica all settle and just wanted to show you what that looks like. And then all we need to do is shake it up. And then we get that really great swirling effect in there. And you could definitely make this um, edible. All you'd have to do is use a green colored juice like high C or um, even a health drink or something like that that would be green. And then just add some of the green edible luster dust to it and you will get the same swirling effect that we are getting with this. But um, I just wanted to create the prop version for you guys so then that way it can be with your other potions and things like that. But you could definitely make an edible version of this for a party. 
And there you have it, our Fred and George Weasley aging potion prop. This will make a great addition to our potion prop collection we've been making, or just something fun to have around while watching the Goblet of Fire. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.